Remember when I told you no matter where I go I'll never leave your side, you will never be alone Good day, I'm Shahani G. Flores, the Bachelor of Science and Tourism Management student presenting the Hinonangan Tourism Establishment. So for today's video, we have our learning outcomes. Number one, present the tourism circuits with PPA. PPA means Program, Projects, and Activities Identification within the Tourism Circuits of Hinonangan Southern Leyte. Number two, present the tourism circuit based on laboratory activity number three that you created along with the PPA based on laboratory activity number four. And the last one, PowerPoint presentation with voiceover. Did you know Hinonangan Southern Leyte has been featured by the most famous traveler and adventurer? He is an, an artist and host in GMA Capuzo Network, Mr. Andro Arellano. Hinonangan Southern Leyte became the feature of the TV showcasing Viaje de Dro because of its rich tourist attraction. Tourism circuits and activities. Circuit number one, sand and sea. Circuit number two, sanctuary and mountain. Circuit number three, adventure and leisure. San Pedro Island, located in Barangay San Pedro, Hinunangan, current status of product development is still developing. Activities can be island hopping, snorkeling, boating or kayaking, diving, sunrise viewing, rock cliff climbing, seafood meals, gozo pickles making, colo chips making, handicraft making. Service center can be local provider accommodation and food. Frequency and type of transportation services can be passenger boat and private pambo. No, I won't never lose. As long as you think. San Pablo Island, located in Barangay San Pablo, Hinunangan. Current status of product development is still developing. Activities can be island hopping, snorkeling, boating and kayaking, diving, seafood meals, lobster culture harvest. San Pablo Service Center is local provider accommodation and food. Frequency and type of transportation services can be passenger boat, private pump boat. Parientes Water Sports, located in Sinipaan, Hinunangan, Southern Leyte. Current status of product development is already established. Activities are snorkeling, sunset viewing, boating or kayaking, windsurfing, beach volleyball. Service center are privately owned cottage and bar. Frequency and type of transportation services are land transportation. For circuit number two, category for sanctuary and mountains. Panas River and Natural Flights, located in Barangay Ingan of Hinonangan, Southern Leyte. Current status of product development is still developing. Activities are swimming and sliding. Service center, cottages. Frequency and type of transportation services, it can be habal-habal or private vehicle. Kalagitan Heart Shape, located in Barangay Kalagitan, Pinunangan, Southern Leyte. Current status of product development is still developing. Activities are viewing deck or sliding, service center or cottages, frequency and type of transportation services, it can be habal-habal or private vehicle. 
Kalagitan Fish Sanctuary, located in Barangay Kalagitan, Hinunangan, Southern Leyte. Current status of product development is still developing. Activities are swimming, fish feeding, snorkeling, and diving. Service center are Nipahat or cottages. Frequency and type of transportation services, it can be motorcycle, private vehicle, bus and van, and among others. Ang Ang Falls, located in Hinunangan, Southern Leyte. Activities are swimming and hiking, service center, restrooms, frequency and type of transportation services is Habal Habal. Tal Eye Range. Activities are Sunrise Views, Twin Island View, and Horseback Riding. Service Center are Tal Eye Range Hotel and Bar, Restaurant, Pineapple Plantation, Wild Boar Seeing, Trampoline, Tree House, Jackfruit Plantation, Cock Fighting. Frequency and type of transportation services are habal habal or it can be four wheels, carabao or horse riding. Circuit number three Adventure and Leisure. Dungawan Activities are Death Viewing, Hiking, Camping, and Cafe. Service Center are Tree House and Cottages. Frequency and type of transportation services are bus or van, habal habal. Pungkai Mountain Park. Activities are duck viewing, hiking, camping, and cafe. Service center are restaurant and cottages. Frequency and type of transportation services are bus and van and habal habal. Mount Bungbong Activities are hiking, viewing, camping, and or picnic. Service center are cottages. Frequency and type of transportation services are bus or van and habal habal. Pangas River Activities are swimming, sliding, bagging, and picture taking. Service centers are cottages and sari sari store. Frequency and transportation services are habal habal in just 10 minutes. Tausan Beach, located in Barangay Tausan, Hinangan, Southern Leyte. Current status of product development is already established. Activities are swimming, water sports activities like jet ski and banana boat, boating or kayaking, sand castle making, skimboarding, shrimp harvesting. Service centers are hotel and restaurants. Frequency and type of transportation services are ham boat, motorcycle, private vehicle, bus and van and others. Programs, projects, and activities identification within the circuits. So we have circuit number one to number three. So circuit number one, we have sand and sea. So issues and concerns are problems in transportation in such as for islands and other beach resorts. Others are communication defects and electricity resources. So time frame for development is 0 to 3 years. What are the programs and projects? So we have three. Number one, transportation development. Number two, skill training for travel. And number three, basic travel training for tourists. Circuit number two, sanctuary and mountain. So there are three possible issues and concerns. So number one, prone to hazard like possible landslide during rainy day. Number two, transportation cost expensive. Number three, communication defects. 
So we have time frame for development, so good for four to six years. So what program and projects we have to implement in order to cope these issues and concerns? We formulated four programs and projects. So number one, to develop tourist sites to avoid accidents. Number two, programs for hazard resilience. And number three, transportation development. And number four, communication services program. So here we are for the last one, circuit number three, adventure and leisure. For adventure and leisure, we have three possible issues and concerns. Number one, environmental defects. Number two, low-cost decoration. Number three, transportation cost expensive. So we have time frame for development for these issues and concerns. Good for four to six years. What are the programs and projects that we have to implement in order to cope these issues and concerns that good for adventure and leisure? So we formulated three programs and projects. So these are eco-friendly programs, implementation of all green environment, and transportation development. Therefore, I conclude, we already tackled the tourism circuit of Hinanangan Southern Leyte as well as the tourist attraction. We explored the tourist attractions and also discussed the availability of activities, service centers, the location and the transportation. We also conclude the program, projects and activities identifications within circuits. So it means that we learn something from being tourist or for being a traveler. So the most important in this video is we have to find out how to develop things that can be our source of revenue and can be the source of sustainability development. So the main focus of this video is to highlight the beauty on earth and to highlight what to develop especially the environmental aspect so again i am shahani g flores and i am explaining my conclusion with the heart and i am not reading any scripts for this conclusion so i am just here to explain further to explain how amazing to visit Pinunangan Southern Leyte. So this is for today and thank you for watching and listening and have a good day. God bless.